So today's uh, project, it's uh, early February 2013, but today's project is um, the delivery and the planting of uh, some tree roses. There are some tree roses missing here, some tree roses existing, but you can see, well this is a Jackson and Perkins rose, it doesn't really matter the company, uses, it's not their fault, but you can see coming out of the winter time how sucked in all this tissue is here. That's a sure sign that that plant is not making it into the springtime or it's not going to make it very well into the springtime. The tissue on the branch should be nice and plump. should not be sucked in like this. It means it's uh, dehydrating or desiccating. I don't know where the, where the cause is, but down here we can see that the root mass is well above the grade of the soil, which is a troubling sign. It should never be like that. You want your root mass to be at least a couple inches below the soil grade. So if the roots are here, maybe planted to at least this depth right there. In any event, this is a junker. And you can see it came out of the ground. It only came out with like one primary root system on it and no feeder roots coming off. So something went wrong here. Perhaps too much water. Who's to say? It's the, the dormant season, so you couldn't really do a very good plant autopsy on it. But so there's not even any root mass associated with it other than the that broken one right there. And then we have sure sign of uh, problems as to why this rose didn't make it. It's hard to tell, but the basin is actually about four inches below grade. So when the sprinkler water went on for the planter bed of the lawn area, there was a trough here. So the rose would have been sitting in water, probably would have drowned. We're in Northern California against the foothills, so it's a pretty heavy soil. There's a long since deceased member of the garden. It also had a somewhat of a recessed planter bed, but not that much. You can see that oh, they might have, for whatever reason, could have been too much planting mix, but the root system was very much exposed and wound up dying away. This one's actually in great shape. Again, the root mass is way above grade and that's going to be a problem going into the future. However, it's going to be removed today. We'll try and salvage it and see what variety it is when it blooms out. Same thing here. Again, you want your soil to be a couple inches above those roots. Get it nice and vigorously into the ground. Sure sign of a tree rose that did exceptionally well. Actually, like a tree. I think it's massive. However, to keep the patio consistent with its new planting, they're all going to be removed and converted over to a hybrid white tea rose called Secrets Out. We'll come back here in about 12 weeks and see how it blooms out.